Reason gives you the best of linear and pattern-based sequencing with blocks. Here I have a sequence with a verse, chorus, and a bridge part. Let's skip along to have a quick listen to all the sections. The idea is that we section off the different parts of the song to its own block, and arranging the song is merely a matter of arranging the blocks. Here we go. Click here to go to block mode, or use the B key. Notice that a block track is created up here at the top. Now we're going to cut and paste the verse into block one. Oh, I need to cut this piece of automation first. Let's cut that. Now we can select it. Let's cut. Go to block mode and paste. There's our first block. I'm going to rename this verse. All right, let's create our second block. Let's select our chorus. Right click to cut. Go back to block mode. Let's select block two. I'm going to rename it chorus and paste it in there. There's our second block, our chorus. Now for our bridge. Let's select these, cut. Let's try again. Cut. Block mode. Let's create a new block and paste. So now we have three blocks. Okay, we have a blank canvas now, and we're ready to start arranging. I'm going to start drawing block patterns with the pencil tool. Select which block we want from the pull downs. So we have a verse, chorus, I can take this guy, copy over here. Use my razor tool to cut. And here's my bridge. And let's just resize this. Let's copy our chorus for one more chorus. It's very much like working with patterns. Please watch our video on patterns if you're unsure how that works. Now let's have a listen. This is a very easy way of arranging. It's true, it took a little bit of work to set up the blocks, but once we did, it was very easy to lay out this arrangement. It's also very easy to make changes and rearrange things if we need to. Now we can tell that we're using blocks, because as you can see, all the clips and the arrangement are now grayed out. Just because everything's grayed out, doesn't mean we can't make changes. I'll show you how in a minute. Let's skip to the verse. And now the bridge. wanted to add another track to the sequence. No problem. I'm going to pick an instrument. Bring up my tool window. Let's see what am I going to pick here. Um, I think we'll go with like um, maybe an NN19. Um, something simple. Okay, that's up at the top. So I'm just going to drop that in my rack. Okay, like so. Very good. 
grab these big strings. Actually, you know what? I'm going to create some reverb to go with this too. Um, I'm going to create a, a send effect. Add some verb. Get this out of the way. Turn it on here. Okay, let's crank this up a bit. Let's go back to our sequencer. All right, let's position our locators. All right, put it at bar 17. All right, ready to go. Now let's record our new track. Now you can see that I'm actually recording a song clip, which means that it isn't grayed out. And you can see that my new clip actually spans over two different blocks, the chorus and the verse. So you really can have it both ways. You can have the flexibility for your arrangement that Blocks provides, but you also have the ability to change and add to your sequence. If I'd like to change the automation on this clip here, I just get out my pencil tool, draw in a new clip, and add some more automation. Let me just drag this out too, draw in some more points, I still have the ability to go in and edit. Let's have a listen there. All right, let's say we've got everything arranged the way we want and we want our block clips to be full color song clips. That's easy. Let's select all our block clips, right click, and pick Convert Block Clips to Song Clips. And that's it, a full arrangement using blocks.